Hi, this is Miss Yoon. Welcome to our new lesson. In this video, we are going to learn new words and reading. Our lesson will be on page 17 of the student book. Now, let's get started. After this lesson, you will be able to talk about the school activities and you will learn to use the verb like with the verb ending in ing. Do you know what time it is? It's time to play game. Yes, chúc mọi bài học thì bao giờ Miss Dung và các bạn cũng chơi một trò chơi. Vậy các bạn hãy nhìn vào màn hình xem có thể đoán được hôm nay chúng ta sắp chơi trò gì không? It is hangman game. Alright, so can you look at the picture here? We have a man, right? And he is hang. We have to save him. But how do we save him? It's very easy. We have to guess the keywords. We have to guess the each letter of the keywords. The keywords had two words. The first word had six letters. And the second word has eight letters. Và giờ ý của Miss Dung là từ cơ bản đang đoán rất là gần với những gì mà chúng ta đã học. Okay, so can you guess the first letter? You say a letter O. Let's see. Congrats, we have two letter O. What's letter next? S. Okay. Wow, you very right. We have one letter S. Letter C. Let's see. Wow, we have two letter C's. Mm -hmm. Now, next. Letter H. It seems like you know the word already. So, what is it? Letter L. Well, we have the first word is school. Now we have to try to find out what the second word is. Mm -hmm. Letter A. Yes, very good. We have a letter A. So which word begins with letter A? Letter I. Let's see. Do we have two letter I's? Very good. Letter V. Wow, this works very weird. What is it? Letter T. Let's see. Wow, you are so super. We have two letter T's. And? What's the final letter? It's letter Y. Yay, we saved his life. The keywords are school activity. And it's also the topic that we are going to learn today. Now, let's move on to the new words section. In this activity, you have to circle the definitions for underlying words and then you have to listen and repeat. Can you show me where the underlying words are on the screen? Yes, here and here. Now, how many underlying words are there? There are six underlying words. So how many questions are there? There are six questions. And how many definitions are there for each the question? Yes, there are two definitions. We have definition A and definition B. So, đối với dạng bài tập này, các bạn sẽ chọn định nghĩa nào là phù hợp nhất đối với từ được gạch dưới. Vậy các bạn sẽ hỏi Miss Dung là 
Như Simoy, làm sao mình có thể chọn được một định nghĩa phù hợp nhất với từ đường gạch chân? Gợi ý của Miss Dung là mình sẽ dựa vào hoàn cảnh của câu để mình chọn ra được định nghĩa nào là phù hợp nhất với từ đường gạch dưới nhé. Vậy bây giờ các bạn cùng làm với Miss Dung nha. We have number one. I don't like playing outside when it's cold and raining. I like doing indoor activities like playing video games. We have the definition A, things people do in the building, and B, things people do on a computer. Mm -hmm. So we have the word indoor activities. I don't like playing outside. I like doing indoor activities. So what are indoor activities? Yes, that's the things people do in a building. Hay là mình còn gọi là những hoạt động trong nhà, đúng không? Next sentence number two. We watch people act in movies, theater plays, and TV shows. Definition A, make money. B, perform a role or part for an audience. À, chúng ta thích nhìn mọi người art uh -huh. trong những bộ phim nè, trong những vở vở kịch nè, hay là những chương trình truyền hình nè, thì định nghĩa nào sẽ phù hợp nhất với chữ art đây? That's it. B đúng rồi. Perform a role or part for an audience có nghĩa là mình sẽ thực hiện hay là mình sẽ biểu diễn một cái vai cho khán giả xem. Let's move on sentence number three. To be in the school play Romeo and Juliet, you need to join the drama club. So we have A. This group performs plays in front of other people. B. This group likes painting and drawing. Now, mình sẽ có là một cái vở kịch, a school play, mang tên là gì đấy? Romeo and Juliet. Nếu mà mình muốn tham dự vào vở kịch đó thì mình phải tham dự vào cái drama club thì co drama club sẽ là gì đấy đó các bạn nhỉ nó sẽ là this group performs plays in front of other people đúng rồi chứ không có liên quan gì tới vẽ hay là sơn màu ha nào sentence number four to join a club sign up on the notice board at your class and phone number two a Read a sign. B. Add your name to a list. Muốn tham gia vào trong một câu lạc bộ, mình phải sign up on the notice board. Do you know what is notice board? This is the notice board. Và sau đó mình sẽ mình phải thêm class and phone number nữa. Vậy thì sign up có nghĩa là gì đây? Add your name to a list. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, sentence number five. In the summer, I like doing outdoor activities like football and cycling. We have A, team sports. B, things you do outside. We have football and cycling. So, outdoor activities are things you do outside. Mm -hmm. Do you love doing outdoor activity in the summer? Me too. I really love it. Sentence number six. I enjoy doing arts and crafts. I make presents for my family like t-shirts and necklaces. A. Beautiful and or useful objects made at home. Or B, visiting museum and art shows. So, this is, so arts and crafts are beautiful and or, or it's useful objects made at home. Arts and crafts đó chính là những hoạt động nghệ thuật và thủ công. Các bạn có thích làm đồ thủ công không? Now, everybody, listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. One.
indoor activities. Indoor activities. Two. Act. Act. Three. Drama club. Drama club. Four. Sign up. Sign up. Five. Outdoor activities. Outdoor activities. Six. Arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. Very good. Now let's move on to the next activity. Now let's move on to the next activity. We have a table here. Yes, and we have two columns. The column one is indoor activities, and the column two is outdoor activities. Now you have to add any activities you can think of to the correct columns. Now we are going to have a phrase. Bây giờ Miss Dung và các bạn cùng làm một cuộc đua nhé. Nào các bạn phải dừng lại video trong vòng hai phút. Và các bạn ghi ra hết những cái hoạt động mà bạn nghĩ rằng những cái hoạt động về indoor activities và những cái hoạt động là outdoor activities. Sau 2 phút các bạn quay lại để check đáp án và thử xem nhé. Ai có nhiều từ hơn nha. Now, let's go. Finished. Now, how many words do you have? Wow, you have a lot of words. I don't have many words. Now let's check together. Indoor activities. I have doing puzzle. Do you like doing puzzle? Yes, I do. Playing video games. Do you like playing video games? No, I don't. Playing chess and plays table tennis. Has about outdoor activity. I have football here, I have cycling here, I have going fishing or fishing, I have skating. Can you skate? Mm -hmm. No, I can't. And flying kite. Now let's move on the reading activity. So you are going to read the school newsletter and you have to answer the following questions. This is the school newsletter. Do your school have newsletter? Interesting. So could you tell me what is the school's name? As Denver High School, right? So what's in the website of the school? It's Denver High School Library dot blogspot dot com. Mm -hmm. What is the newsletter is about? The newsletter is about the school club. Now you have three minutes to read the information in the newsletter here. And then you have to answer from question one to question four. We have the question one, which club is on Tuesdays? Question number two, which club wants you to sign up on the notice board? And number three, which club wants you to take something with you? Question number four, which club needs money? Okay, so you have three minutes to read this newsletter and then check the answer together. Now, we have number one, which club is on Tuesdays? It is, yes, the soccer club. Now, which information tells you that the soccer club is on Tuesdays? Yes, because the soccer club meets at 4 p.m. every Tuesday. Now, the second question. Which clubs want to sign up on the Nordics board? It is the board games. Which information tell you that the board game clubs want you to sign up on the Nordics board? Yes, 
because the board games club start next week, and this one is very popular. So you have to sign up on the notice board. Question number three: Which clubs want you to take something with you? It is the book club because you have to bring your own copy of the Secret Garden. And the final question: Which club needs money? Is art and crafts club because this club. The cost is twenty dollar per turn for the materials. Do you have four out of four correct answers? Very good. Workbook correction time. So in this lesson, we have to do new words. The exercise A. And the exercise B, and then we do the listening section. Now, can you look at the exercise A? We have a yes, a crossword puzzle. Have you ever played crossword puzzle before? Yes, I have. Now, everybody, can you look at the exercise A? How many pictures are there? There are six. And how many keywords are there? Six. Okay. So we have five columns and a row. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now you have to look at the picture. And then you have to write the correct word in the puzzle here. The picture one will be the column number one. So number one has been done for you. Is the word sign up? Can you look at number two? What can you see in this picture? Yes, they are construction papers and pictures, right? Picture number three. What can you see? It's a play. Yeah, the students are acting. Picture number four. There is a person and he is climbing the mountain. Now, picture number five. We have yes, this girl is acting. And final picture, we can see there is a person climb the wall, and there is a person playing table tennis. Now, everybody, you can stop video here for three minutes, and after three minutes, you can back and check your answer. Let's see what are the words number two. It's arts and Crabs, good. Number three. You think it's drama club? Yes, it is. It's a drama club. Number four. Outdoor activities. Yes. Number five. Act. And finally, number six. It is indoor activity. Yes. Do you have five out of five career answer? Amazing! After solving the crossword puzzle, we have to fill in the blanks using the words in text A. Do you remember words in text A? Now let's do this exercise together. We have number one. Why don't you sign up for a book club? Two. Chris wants to be an actor. He's learning how to act at school. Number three. Jane likes acting. She joined the the drama club at school. Number four. Some students love doing because 
They can make a pretty things from paper. So which activity you can make pretty things from paper? It's arts and crafts. Number five, volleyball and table tennis are. We often play them in the sports center. The sports center. Do we play volleyball and table tennis indoors or outdoors? Yes, we play them indoors. So volleyball and table tennis are indoor activities. Number six. Many students like playing soccer and tennis. They are. Yes, we have the last word that is outdoor activities. Very good. So let's move on the listening section. Now for this part, you have to listen and tick what club Maria will sign up for. So can you look up here? How many clubs are there? There are six clubs. Can you guess the name of each club? Now let's try. We have picture one. It can be the reading club or the book club. Number two, yes, art club, right? Now picture number three. Yeah, they are doing outdoor activities. So I think it can be outdoor club. Now number four. Yeah, we can see the word science here. It can be the science club. And the next picture, we see people dancing. So it can be the dancing club. And the next picture, it can be the video games club. Now everybody, now listen and take what clubs Maria will sign up for. Unit two. School. Lesson two. Track six. Page eleven. Listening. Listen and tick. What clubs will Maria sign up for? I need to choose some clubs to join this year. Which one do you want to sign up for? Hmm, I don't know. Oh look, science club. Do you like science? No, I don't. How about video games club? Yes, good idea. Oh, there's also a dance club. Do you like dancing? No, I don't. There's an art club too. Do you like art? No, I don't. I don't like painting or drawing at all. How about outdoors club? Yes, I love doing outdoor activities. Hmm. Do you like reading? Yes, I love reading. There's a book club. Why don't you sign up for it? Great idea. Thanks, Harry. Now, listen again. I need to choose some clubs to join this year. Which one do you want to sign up for? Hmm, I don't know. Oh look, science club. Do you like science? No, I don't. How about video games club? Yes, good idea. Oh, there's also a dance club. Do you like dancing? No, I don't. There's an art club too. Do you like art? No, I don't. I don't like painting or drawing at all. How about outdoors club? Yes, I love doing outdoor activities. Hmm. Do you like reading? Yes, I love reading. There's a book club. Why don't you sign up for it? Great idea. Thanks, Harry. Will Maria sign up for reading club? Yes, she will. Will Maria sign up for a club? No, she won't. Right? Will Maria sign up for outdoor club? 
Yes, she will. Will she sign up for a science club? No, right? Now, will she sign up for a dancing club? No. Now let's check the answer one more time. It's time to say goodbye. Today we have learned a lot of new words. So don't forget to learn new words at home and see you next lesson. Thank you and goodbye.